All right, so in this After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna break down how I rigged up these characters 100% in After Effects using Element 3D and joysticks and sliders. Let's check it out. So in order to get started, you will need Element 3D and joysticks and sliders script from AE Scripts. Neither of these are free, uh, but I'm pretty sure you can get free trial of at least joysticks and sliders. Not sure about Element. Um, and you should be aware that there are gonna be some limitations of this method. Obviously, Element 3D and After Effects in general is not a, a meant for intense 3D work, um, but it's fun to do it all in After Effects, I think, especially if you really like After Effects, like I do. But, um, so the limitations are gonna be that, you know, these are gonna be basic 3D models, and um, you're limited to five groups uh, that you can break apart on a single element layer. So what that means is that, in this case, I have broken apart two arms, two legs, and the body and head on one um, group like this. So you get five groups on one layer. Now you could, if you wanted to use multiple element 3D um, setups and combine them and break things apart as many times as you want. You know, if you wanted to have multiple joints in a leg or something like this and just keep breaking things apart and have 10, 15 groups that are all separated and get really complicated with it. That's not what I'm gonna be showing you how to do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna use a deformer and just kind of bend our limbs and it's a workaround. I think it'll work fine for this, but these are the limitations that we're gonna be using. And quick shout out to my guy Ash here, who's been trying to get me to use Element 3D for years. And I've been really stubborn and didn't wanna do it. And then finally, my other guy, Danny Stern, uh, enlightened me that you could use Element 3D with joysticks and sliders. And that really piqued my interest. And I finally pulled the trigger a decade too late and dove into Element 3D. So shout out to both you guys. Thank you for putting me on this path. Okay, so I'm gonna make a new solid and we'll call this element. And let's go ahead and add element to this. And we're gonna click scene setup. Now I've already modeled my character. So if you haven't done this yet, then go ahead and take the next two seconds to model your character. And this is what the character is going to look like. So you can see here that we have five available channels up here. So we're gonna wanna go ahead and break apart our character into these channels however we'd like. So like I said before, um, I'm gonna do two arms, two legs, and then the body and head on one channel. And you can see that I already have the arms they're broken down here onto this kind of ground plane. And the reason for this was because when I was doing this before, um, Element was having a hard time with the anchor point for the arms. It kept trying to, when they were up here on the uh, shoulders, it kept trying to rotate them from down here, kind of at this zero, zero axis. So even when I um, changed the alignment up here, it still wanted to rotate them from around here. So I just went ahead and moved them down here and then I'm gonna position them back up on the shoulders in After Effects um, just to avoid this issue. So you might not have to do this, but um, I just went ahead and did that anyway. So it might even be better if you kind of move the whole model to be like positioned like here, something like this, um, you know, knowing that everything is going to kind of rotate from this zero zero axis if there's any issues you know something like this might be better i think that it gets confused i don't know why it happens sometimes but it it might so what i'm gonna do now is move everything to individual channels so we'll have move this arm down this other arm down um and both legs so we'll have this whole group, which is the body and head on one, have this arm on two, this arm 
on three, this leg on four, this leg on five, and okay. And I actually like this like flat shading. So I'm gonna change this to SSS, which gives it this overall just really flat light. You can do 100 ambient actually, maybe that's it. I can't remember which one. I think it's SSS. Ambient, either one is cool. Okay, click okay. Now we have our model here, great. So now what we wanna do is we wanna add null objects to all of these parts. Null objects are gonna be your very best friend in all of this. So open up each group. Group one, you can see if you enable it and disable it, is the body. And we wanna pull this out here, so you can see, and we're gonna click create group null. Click create. And if you move this around, you can see, now we're moving the body, okay? Let's go ahead and do this on each one. Create group for group, group two, create group null. Boom, group three, boom, group four, boom, group five, boom. Now you wanna be careful with, with naming stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and rename this, but we'll call this, I'm just gonna add names onto the end because if you change names too much, um, it gets confused. So like if I named both of these just arm, um, they're, they're gonna to try to reference each other so don't, um, so be specific with the names at least. So I'm gonna add arm on each one, but I'm not gonna like delete the numbers and stuff. You can delete the numbers, just don't name to any two null objects the exact same thing. So I'll name them both arm and then these both leg. Okay, and so now what happens if we uh, parent everything to, to the body here, I'll parent this to the body. And now what should happen if we kind of rotate stuff around, um, move the body around. Everything should be parented up together. Cool. And let me move these arms up into place like this and make sure that all this rotation, you want to try it out a little bit, make sure that they're all rotating from like what looks like the right place and the legs are the legs good. You know, now's the time to just make sure things are working properly and it, thank you auto save. And it looks like they are. Okay, great. So we are pretty much rigged up on the element side, okay? We're good to go. So now I wanna rig up my joystick to, to add some control to this stuff. So how the joystick works is you need to create the extreme positions for each property. And how you do this is you set one keyframe on each extreme and the, the positions are, let me read my notes here, origin, right, left, top, and then bottom. In that order, let me pin this right here, okay? We'll keep it pasted right here for the rest of the tutorial. So we're gonna set these keyframes and then we're gonna create the joystick. So let's just start with like the legs, okay? So with the leg um, null objects, we'll start with the origin with the rot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna make keyframes on all of these rotations here. You know what, I should have on uh, buttons for this tutorial so you can see what buttons I'm pressing. Let me do that real quick. Okay, so this is our origin point here and you can set this to be the origin if you click origin. And now I'm gonna uh, go over one, go over one frame now we need to make our right position. So let's go ahead and just set something that, that feels like it should be the right side here. So maybe right is like this. I mean, it's relative. So I know we're looking at him and this is might be technically like left, but we're it's right for me, okay? So something like this might be what we would consider to be the left, right? Something like this. And I'm just doing legs right now. I'm just worried about, I want the legs to have its own control. So do left and we wanna put keyframes on everything that we are um, gonna be controlling, even if they don't have any movement, they all need keyframes. So that's right, now we need left. So let's go swing it back over. So maybe something like this is left. Okay, give everything a keyframe. Then we go back and if you click origin here, uh, it will return them. I thought it would. Oh, you have to unclick everything. There we go. 
click the layers with nothing selected and I'll snap it back to the origin. There we go. And now we want to go after left, we go uh, top. Okay, so top would be like up in this case because we kind of have a guy flying. So I'm going to rotate the, the body around so I can see. And this isn't going to sit because we're not sitting a keyframe here. This is just to look. So I'm just rotating this. And now let me like set it set up upwards for top. So maybe it's something like this kind of like flying up. Um, so maybe something like that. And then for for down will go maybe something like this. Okay, cool. And set keyframes to everything. So these are all of our extremes for the legs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and grab all of these and I'm going to create a joystick. Okay, so click this button, create a new joystick. We'll call this legs and click okay. So now we have this joystick and if we move this, we have leg controls. Look at this, and, and I'm gonna move this back around, and let's go ahead and move this, and we have moving leg controls. Very cool. But the legs aren't quite done yet, okay? Because I feel like they want to like bend, okay? Then you have a little bend with each thing. When the legs go back, right? They go forward, they go back, I want the knees to bend here. So what we're gonna add is we wanna add a deformer in element 3D to make the legs go bend backwards at this point. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to unbind this and add that back into this joystick. So with this joystick selected, I think you click on this and then you click unbind. Let's see what you, unbinds all layers from this selected joystick. Okay, so let's click on these two layers and then click unbind and then it'll spit out all of these um, keyframes back, okay? And now we're gonna go back and we're gonna add in more properties to this joystick, okay? So let's go back down to our element layer and on each group, if you open up the particle look, so let's find our legs here. Which one's our leg? Group four? Yeah, okay go down to the particle look, open it up, because each um, different group is considered a particle, and we can open up what's called the deform here. And if you enable the deform, you have all these different kinds of deforms. And I think what we want is gonna be called the bend, okay? If you click enable on bend, and then you have the option to bend it, and that's not what we want, okay? Maybe we want Y bend, okay? Something like that, That's that could be cool. So Y bend and change the direction, okay? So maybe something like that, okay? So like 270 degrees might be right. And let me rotate the body so we could see this. And you can see now if we bend this, we're kind of getting this nice bendy action in the leg. So let's go ahead and add these bends with each extreme point in this joystick. Okay, so we have nothing at the origin. Okay, so I'm gonna set a keyframe on the bend at zero. Click U to just kind of bring that up. And then we'll go over one. And when it's at left, maybe there's uh, just a little bit of bend, maybe something like this. And then when it's this way, maybe there's just kind of a little bend that way. Now when it's back like this, I wanna give it a nice big bend, okay? Something like this. And then when we go forward, maybe it kinda doesn't bend forward, but it still has a nice little curve to it like this. And we can add different bend axes um, at different times. You can sw swap the bend axes uh, in each different keyframe, you can change it, okay? So now I'm gonna do, go over to the other leg and add another uh, deformer onto group five. So open up the particle look and open up deform and open up bend, enable. We'll do the same thing, open up the Y, add in 270 degrees and make a keyframe at zero. And let's see what we got here. Nothing on the origin. Maybe we'll give it a little bit of bend or maybe nothing on this direction. Spin our guy around so we can really see what we're looking with, what we're working with here. 
go over to the left. Maybe gets a little bit of bend. Nothing much here. Let's kind of keep that straight on for this style. And then maybe gets a little bit of bend this way. Kind of like that straight on there. Gives it some personality. And then forward, give it some, maybe you just kind of keep that one straight the whole time. Kind of give it some variety like this, okay? So now let's grab all of these keyframes like this. I'm shift and highlighting all of them. And now with our legs joystick selected in the drop down here, let's go ahead and rebind them all like this. And now when we move this joystick around, you can see that this bend is now rebaked into this joystick. Very cool. So now all you do from here, since you are very smart and beautiful and all around great, is you just apply this logic of creating the joystick to all the other parts of your element. So for example, you would make a joystick for, you know, overall uh, character rotation, which you would do with the whole body null, and you could do it for the arms like I have here. You could do both arms together or individual arms. And the really nice thing about um, doing it like this is that you can also go in then and you can add individual uh, fine tune controls on top of these joysticks. So you animate the joysticks, but you can go in and you can just animate the um, individual controls more fine tune. So let's say you animate all of these joysticks, but you think that, you know, I want to have a moment where maybe something uh, bends more. Well, you can just go in and you could just bend the arm specifically to your liking. So uh, the joysticks don't while they, they have control, they're not gonna uh, prevent you, they're not gonna override anything uh, and lock you out of having um, control over stuff, which is really nice. All right, so that about wraps up the tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know what you liked about it. If you have any more questions, leave a comment. And if you wanna see more plugin specific tutorials, let me know which plugins and scripts you would like me to dive into next and maybe i will maybe i won't but maybe i will so let me know what you would like me to check out all right i will see you next time thank you for watching goodbye